That's right, the guy who never ever ever does an episode 2 has actually done an episode 2 for once. When I first started YouTube, I was like, I'm gonna do so many Let's Plays, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Do you know what guys, I forgot which one. Is it Save Game 13 or Save Game 14 that was our Let's Play? When I first started YouTube, I was obsessed with doing Let's Plays, but I deleted them all, well I privated them all because I was embarrassed by them. But I never ever ever got to episode 2, I only ever did episode 1, and I have so many episode 1s on my channel. Oh my god, why am I naked? Oh by the way, as you can see, my hair is different now because it's like what is it burgundy maroon but obviously we don't have a okay that's i know this i know i bitch about the sims for all the time but like because we don't have a color wheel i can't make my hair color so i just made it brown Although my sim self is much skinnier than real me oh my god my sim self is so hot i wish i had a body like that <laughs> anyway if you miss episode one basically we became an interior designer and we're going to be a famous interior designer i decided oh don't you love that sunset now i said before i wasn't sure whether i wanted a boyfriend or a roommate and somebody said just do both which makes sense because we have a small bed in here so i can have a boyfriend oh my god i really hate this denim bed it's literally gross but i really really want to get a boyfriend because i want one in real life and i don't have one so i feel like i want to do it through the sims is that desperate am i crazy do you know what? i feel like most simmers do that oh my god what now i'm afraid this house is not in compliance with the following neighborhood action plan green gardening you will experience an increase in your bills oh my god what do you want me to do i don't even have a garden for christ's sake what an absolute palaver we're how long are we in we're like two minutes into the let's play okay we don't have a garden but i have a little balcony so what if i okay this planter box is way too big oh my god i can't put a planter box outside so how am i supposed to do a planter can i do inside ones that's weird that they didn't let you put in that functionality because this is the eco lifestyle pack you think they'd let you do it well maybe we could just have an indoor garden pot and i'll put it next to the door so it's like a greenhouse effect if you know what i mean my gosh what a bloody palaver Oh, we need seeds. Let's see. Should we get some magical seeds? Why not? We're having magic plants. A memory card? Why have I got a memory card? Why have I got all these photos? Sell to publication. See, didn't I say that I wanted to become a famous interior designer? So if I could do sell to publication, then we can get famous by selling our design shots that we took. Although if you saw the last episode, the house I built was literally so tragic. Anyway, guys, what do you think of my new hair? I don't... It's all right. Not the haircut, by the way. I always get it cut this short. But my colour... See, I think I just dyed it red. I literally dyed it... Oh my god, who is this at my door? Oh my god, you creep. Literally. Piss off. But I literally dyed it red like 10 times. So it's got to the point now where I literally just can't change it. Like, I used blonde hair dye and it went this colour. How did it go from red? I put bleach underneath it, by the way. Bleach, then red, then blonde. And somehow it's gone like brown. So I'm just giving up. I'm giving up and I'm just letting the roots grow through. Although, it looks kind of like green underneath. Oh my god, don't look at my pores. Oh! Oh my god, guys. Oh, for Christ's sake, Vlad. Go home. Can I just send home? I literally, literally jog on, mate. I literally could not give less of a flying f Please leave. Thank God. Oh my God, what a nightmare. Now I've got this annoying aura around me because it's glitched, of course. Oh my God, literally what a nightmare. See, I'm not sure whether I want to make this like a once a week thing or if I should do it like every other day. I'm, not, I'm still not sure if I'm even going to make it past episode two. Maybe we should go for episode three at least and of course now it is time to go design a house what tragedy are we going to come up with this time no i'm going to try and do something normal i'm going to do a normal interior design because i never do normal things i always do crazy things okay oh my god are my shaders on yeah they are i still can't believe like how gray it looks without them look how gray it is boom oh my god i actually really like this lot i don't think i've ever actually seen this lot are we in what world are we in are we in henford upon shagley okay let's go oh my god she looks chirpy let's go invite ourselves in oh my god my sim self literally looks so sexy right now oh my god i literally want to have sex with myself okay this house doesn't actually look too bad i think it just needs a little bit of okay who am i kidding look at this kitchen this house needs saving okay where is the owner i want to know we've got a little kid there i don't want to introduce myself to the kid first is this a dad okay i think so gunther munch hello there sir i love how i just casually went and sat on his bed oh it's 2000 what do we actually have to do just a room renovation okay oh and the kid's here as well i'll ask the kid what he wants why not maybe we should do the kid's room is this another kid wow she loves pipe oh my god i'm not gonna have to buy her pipe organ oh no i thought it was going so well it was going so well and now we've got pipe organs and singing <laughs> oh no 
This is gonna be a disaster. All they like is pipe organs and singing for Christ's sake. All right, send the clients away. I'm sick of you. Get out of here now. All right, we've got the two teen rooms, but I find it kind of weird that it's like the same room. So I think I might just like change it up so they don't have to like be so together. If you know what I mean, I'll separate the rooms out. Let me do the kids side first and then let me do the emo side. Oh my God, I know I keep going on, but my Sim South has the juiciest booty in the world. Oh my God, I literally have a crush on myself. <laughs> so our budget is literally tiny. Is this like one single door? Okay, I'm gonna have to replace that, I think with two separate doors. Oh, I can't add any new walls. That is annoying. Okay, this is literally gonna be a nightmare then. Okay, maybe we could have one of the kids has a pipe organ and the other one like singing. So the emo one can have a pipe organ because that's quite an emo thing, isn't it? That's like half the budget. <laughs> oh my God. And I've just realized, does this hallway not even have a carpet? Did the Sims team literally forget to put a bloody carpet in this room? <laughs> so maybe we should get rid of the chess table. Let's be honest. What kind of teenager has a literal chess table? So what if we pop the organ here? Will they actually still be able to use their bed? See, that's a problem. So this is basically just like a teenager makeover. Oh my God, guys, this is going literally horrendously. Like you have no idea. What am I even doing? I'm literally just putting a fucking piano and a microphone in a room. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do what I am gonna see if they have a divider because this is literally horrendous having both of these next to each other. Just a little one like this. This one looks okay. It kind of fits the vibe. Oh my God, what is my Sims half doing? He's about to wet himself. Oh my God, he's so annoying. Do you know what? Our hygiene need is no, and I am just gonna quickly have a little play in their path. Is that inappropriate? Oh well. <laughs> This teen is going to be like, what the hell? There is a pipe organ and a microphone and cobwebs in my bedroom. <laughs> Do you know what? I know I said this was going to be a normal let's play, but I think if it's me, like it has to be a little bit crazy. Otherwise, it's just not me, is it? We're hosting a reveal event. Oh my God, everybody's clipping through each other. Of course they are. Okay, I don't know why we're looking outside. Oh my God, oh my God. Look at that. Oh my God, we didn't have that before. It's like a PowerPoint slideshow. Oh my God. God, I'm pretty sure we didn't have this thing before. Oh my God, that's really cool. Although they're doing the before and after photos wrong. That is a little bit annoying. They're doing them in like the wrong order. That's a bit stressful, but it's pretty cute. At least they tried. Although I don't know why we're standing outside. We need to like go here. Can't we like go in here? I really don't understand what's going on. <laughs> what am I doing with these clients? Oh my God, he literally looks so depressed. I think he hates it. Oh no, he's clapping. I don't know why he's clapping at that end table. I didn't put that in there. That was already there. And come on guys, check this out. Check out the pipe organ. What do you think about the pipe organ? That little boy is like, oh my God, what have you done to my bedroom? The parents are like, oh, this is nice. Like already speaking through the grit of their teeth. Such has completed it and earns nothing. And my reputation has dropped. Are you serious? Anyway, let's get out of here because I am literally distressed. Oh, look, it's even raining, which is really setting the scene. I think I'm just going to have my garden salad and go to bed and accept another job right now before I forget so we can do it tomorrow. A room renovation. Okay. And I did say, in the last episode that we would eventually write a book about like interior design so I am gonna raise my skill by the way guys I literally oh I'm not swearing at you that was an accident I literally what's that coffee thing called you know like when you have proper coffee and you put it in like the glass thing with the whisk do you know what I mean like the filter coffee I accidentally smashed the glass thing and I've never cut my finger so deep in my life I was just buying petrol in America you call it gas a gas station when I was buying petrol I actually literally got blood all over my steering wheel. I got it all over my car. I just had to clean my car. It was an absolute nightmare. Oh, Satch had a nightmare about what being watched by a very creepy doll. Oh, that's so cute. I'd love to have a creepy doll. Although we need to get back to sleep because it's like 3 a.m. Do you know why I've realized my Sims self is so much skinnier than me? It's because he lives off salad. He only eats salad. He's even eating tomatoes, I believe. I hate tomatoes in real life. I think they are disgusting. I've never, ever, ever in my entire life been able to eat an entire tomato. I've tried chewing them. I like I've taken a bite and then I just like vomit it out because they are so gross. I do not understand psychopaths who can just eat raw tomatoes. I like ketchup. I like pizza, obviously, but just a raw tomato. No, not for me. Anyway, it is time for another gig because I didn't actually forget this time to set it all up. We are at the Von. Oh my God. Didn't we come here before? Oh my God. Didn't we come here in the first episode? We're literally back in the house. They must have loved the previous gig so much. They're laying us back. I guess at least I don't really need to introduce myself to them all because they already know who I am. 
Sam. Oh my god, they're actually... Do you remember we designed the house like this before and they're living in it? That is literally so sweet. Oh my god. Okay, let me have a proper chat with everybody now. Okay, so we've actually got three things now. We've got... We like garden decor. Oh my god, again with the garden decor. They like cooking and they like the colour red. So if you saw the first episode, this room was all based on garden decor and all of this stuff is garden decor. We're now doing more garden decor, but they like cooking. So I think we're going to do a room renovation in the kitchen. Although our budget again is really, really low. So I'm not sure what we're going to be able to do. Okay, so they like cooking. So do we upgrade the... Do you know what? I'm going to delete this entire kitchen. Bye, bitch. Because we are completely upgrading everything in this hell hole. That's right. The whole kitchen is going. Although we do have the dream home decorated kitchen, which I actually really like. I know I'm not much of a builder, but I do really like it. Do you know what makes me laugh about this pack? So, you know, in The Sims 4, counters are always wrong. So, like, if you look at the counters, they always have the drawers on the outside bit, even though they should be on this side. But for some reason, they put the drawers on the wrong side. Well, in this pack, see, on this specific one, they're in the right place or on the outside. But for this specific one that came with Dream Home Decorator, it's on the inside. So, they got it like half right. It's just funny that they only did half a job right. But that is The Sims for you. What can you expect? Okay, I'm being a bitch. I'm sorry. I always complain about this game. Yeah, I play it all the time. And I'm trying really hard to be nice and not complain about everything. I feel like it'd be kind of funny though just to give them a bright red fridge and we give them a bright red dishwasher. Oh my god, this literally looks horrendous. It looks so industrial. I hate it. But hey ho, that is what these Sims want. In fact, do you know what? Shall we do the top counters as red? Should we use it? Oh my god, should we use the one from the cool kitchen pack? The pack that literally nobody ever uses. I literally cannot stand these cabinets with a passion because they're so like weird. I am awfully sorry to the people who have to live here. You probably did not want a kitchen like this, but because it's a Sims 4 and their AI is too stupid, they're never going to know any different. They're just going to say, oh, this is so lovely. So we want the dreaded garden decor. I wonder if we've got any red garden decor. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Oh my God, we literally do. Okay. Maybe we could have like a little candlelight here. I don't know. Maybe we could put the candlelight on the dining table. Maybe we could just have a little chair. No, I'm not putting a bloody chair. Okay. What about a pot? We can have a nice red garden pot. And I guess this lantern could look like a table lantern. Although who has a table lamp in their kitchen? Okay, I feel like we're not going to be able to do red and garden together. Just garden. So I'm praying that there's something we can actually use. Oh my god, why do these people want garden decor in their house? I'm traumatized by the garden decor. Do you know what we could? Okay, I know I said I'd be normal, but I'm really tempted to just put a fountain in the house. I guess it could work. We could have a barbecue in the house. Okay, let's have... What can we... Guys, I'm dying here. What do I do? Help me. Oh, I love how all of the floorings in garden decor are just like a soil. Maybe we could give them soil flooring. I love how this is garden decor. I don't know what this has got to do with garden decor. Although being serious, I think we might just go for like wooden planks and maybe make it grayish. Should we even give them some dreaded pampas grass? Seeming that this video is a little bit cursed. You guys know I literally hate pampas grass with a passion. It is an old granny plant. I don't know why it came back in fashion a couple of years ago, but it needs to stay dead now. I want to give them like a big obnoxious painting to go on this wall because I feel like a lot of rich people would do something like that. Like something really, really ugly and abstract artistic. What about the city living ones? Yeah, one of these. Oh look, we've even got a red one. Isn't that great? <laughs> Let me put a rug under the dining table. Do people put rugs under their dining tables? Is that a thing? I don't have a rug under my dining table. It seems like a little bit weird, but not in The Sims today. We are doing it, of course. And shall it be red or shall we make it blue? Wouldn't that be rather... Okay, I actually like the blue and the red. I like complementary colours and opposite colours. It looks really striking. Maybe we should put a bit of blue as well then in the kitchen. Okay, let's just put like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, uh, okay, blue plant. And if I'm being brutally honest with all of you guys, like I am literally losing motivation on this house. So I am just going to leave that there and hope to shit that they like it. I really hope we get paid this time because we are desperately in need of money if we want to be a rich, famous interior designer. I think it looks a lot better. It is very very dramatic but that is their brief they did give me a terrible brief and I watched this Australian show about interior design and it was like however bad the brief is you must always follow the client's brief even if you think it's horrendous so that is what I'm taking on from here why are they touring the outside these bloody stupid sims what are they doing okay yes oh my god did I accidentally delete the door <laughs> 
I think I deleted the door. Oh my God. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I deleted your door. Oh my God. That is horrendous. <laughs> okay. So for some strange reason, it has improved significantly our reputation and they liked it, which is crazy because that was one of the worst things I've ever done. If somebody designed my house like that, I would be fuming. And of course, I am just literally going to sell all of our pictures so we can just make loads of money from them because I want to be a celebrity at some point. What is our celebrity star level? Okay, we're still unknown. We've got a long way to go and we've got no reputation. And oh my God, there's another creep at my door. What is with all these people coming at my door? She's like talking at the door. What on earth is she doing? Why do these people just come to my door? They are literally crazy stalkers and I hate them. So I am just sorting out my Sims needs. In the meantime, guys, I think I'm going to leave that there. If you do want to see episode three, let me know down below. And of course, if you have any suggestions on what to do, please let me know. I will take on your suggestions. Although some people have been asking me if Shanice Shanice is going to be coming in this Let's Play. As I said, this is a totally normal Sims 4 Let's Play. So there will be no Shanice in this Let's Play. But if you have any other ideas, of course, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you watch the next video up here. See you in the next one. Thank you.